Hey, I'm Craig Christofferson and welcome to Let the Light in TV. Today, we are using currently, so you can see the results of it, as well as testing and reviewing the Viltrox 50mm f1.8 lens. This is for the Sony E-mount and APS-C. Now, as far as cost-wise, it's uh, 380 US dollars, 480 Canadian. Let's jump into it. Let's talk about autofocus. First of all, it does have eye detection and it works very nicely. Autofocus um, overall had a very good performance. It is quiet. Now, there was a couple times where it was focus hunting at a very close uh, minimal focus distance and there's a little bit of a whirl, a little, little bit of a sound going on when it was doing that focus hunting operation. But other than that, it is extremely quiet and nothing that is going to pose you any problems. The closest focus distance is 0 0.55 meters, 55 centimeters. We will come back to that point in just a bit. But first, let's talk about the focus ring. It feels very nice. The damping on it feels good. The kind of knurled edges uh, for grip feel very good. And so uh, using manual focus on this lens is certainly a pleasure to be had. It is 350 grams in weight and this weight, I guess, I don't know if it's just a me thing or an overall thing, but for me, this 350 gram weight on the body that I'm using, which is a Sony a6600 feels very nice. It just, the lens doesn't have you know, lens stabilization in it. But just the weight of the lens and the way that it fit and felt in my hand during operation made me feel like I had an extra stabilization factor within the process because, you know, the A6600 does have stabilization, the lens doesn't, but it, it just, the weight of it sat very nicely in my hand and made me feel like all of the shots that I were getting were being really steady. Now in DaVinci Resolve and Post, I do throw stabilization on a lot of the shots just for that extra balance and kind of professionalism to look at, but um, it felt really nice. So I don't know if it's just a me thing, but 350 grams uh, really feels quite nice. All right, moving on. It has a 1.8 large aperture. Now, as with kind of the trend uh, that I'm seeing with Viltrock lenses is whenever it's wide open, there is some chromatic aberration that is going to sneak through, but it's nothing that's going to destroy your image or generally to worry about a whole lot um, in the end. You can always, you know, just uh, go to an f-stop of, you know, say f4 and it's going to clean it up uh, a whole lot better. The aperture ring, there is an adjustable aperture ring on the lens. It goes from 1.8 to 16 in a linear fashion. So you're getting everything in between, nothing is being skipped. It has nine aperture blades and the bokeh is nice and circular. And so that does all look very good. Now there was a rare instance where there was uh, lens flares coming in, but that was really a rare occasion and not something that the lens struggled with, for example. Here's a look at uh, a little bit of a sun star coming through. You can see it through the forest. You can see those blades uh, getting into action there. And uh, all your images, all the video that I took looked really nice and crisp and clean. The focus is strong and everything looked quite nice. Now, um, let's get into what I was talking about with that closest focus distance of 55 uh, centimeters. Um, here is a focus pull test that I was doing. Right lens, now. Right lens, now. TV, now. Right lens, now. Left lens, now. Left lens, now. Left lens, now. And within kind of that closest focus uh, range, it did struggle a little bit. Um, now I measured it out and um, the closest item that I had was 57 centimeters away from the edge of the lens. And so I, you know, I gave it a couple extra centimeters just for that extra little breathing room. But whenever doing these focus pulls, sometimes it would hunt a little bit for that closest object. And um, that was interesting to me. Now, for example, if I come in here, you can see it tracks really quite nicely and there's no problem at all. 
There's no problem at all right now. But within kind of that focus pull test, it was the one isolated place where I did see it struggle a little bit. And so conclusion after all of that, you know, I come in here and we're all good. It tracks nicely. I'm definitely within um, that closest there. It just lost a little bit. So I'm definitely within that closest focused range distance and it works fine. So it seems to me that really the conclusion of all that is that whenever you're doing a focus pull, that is where it may struggle a little bit. Um, but if it's a, if it's a smooth transition and a following, like I just demonstrated, then it is nothing to worry about. So perhaps an isolated incident, although this lens does come with a type C port. And so if this is a problem of the lens, then perhaps Viltrox will upgrade it in a future firmware upgrade. So wrapping things up, the build quality of this lens is very nice. It's an all metal construction. So in the end, this is a lens that feels good, is built good and performs good. I can certainly recommend to you this lens. It was a joy to use. If you would like a photo review and kind of some more in-depth details, then here's a link to Dustin Abbott's channel where you can follow him, subscribe to him and get a little bit more information as far as the photo use of this lens. If you would like to purchase it, the links are down below in the description where you can also get to Dustin Abbott's channel. You can buy uh, merchandise and any other things that you would like to take a peek at. Other than that, I hope you have a great day and remember to let the light in.